Hi, Teacher Glay here and today I'm going to share with you what are the requirements that you need in order for you to file for this upcoming September 2023 licensure examination for teachers. Before I go sabihin yung mga list na requirements, let me just remind you that first things first, you have to ensure or you have to make your own Larry's account. So Larry's means licensure examination and registration information system. And don't worry, your information is safe here in this website because it is regulated by PRC. PRC and Larry's portal will definitely help you to expedite your application, registration, and even yung pag-renew nyo ng license. Lahat ng ganap nyo sa PRC, kailangan nyo muna nga mag-book ng appointment dito sa Larry's account nyo. Kaya it's important that you will remember your password and even the email account or the email address that you will be using in your Larry's account. So, after yung gumawa ng Larry's account, ang next thing to do is may lalagay lang kayo mga information, details nyo, and yung picture nyo din. And make sure na kung ano yung picture nyo doon sa Larry's account nyo, yun din yung picture nyo doon sa application form nyo later that we will be discussing. So, anyway, um, after nun, makakapag-book ka na ng appointment if na-set up mo na yung profile mo. And then, after booking an appointment, make sure lang din na kompleto na yung mga requirements mo na ipapasa mo kay PRC local office. So, ano na nga yung mga list of requirements that you need to pass sa PRC office? First things first, you have to prepare for your TOR or the transcript of record, yung original and photocopy of it. And make sure that your TOR has a special order, yung SO. It has the date of your graduation, the seal of the school, and meron ding scanned picture of yourself. Tapos, doon sa remarks, ang nakalagay din for board examination purposes only. Then, original and photocopy PSA birth certificate. Again, PSA na yung nire-recognize nila or yung tinatanggap lang nila ngayon. And if you are married, um, please bring your marriage certificate na din po. Next is the application form, printed application form. So, saan po kukunin tong application form? Ito ay after mo mag-register sa Larry's or makapag-book ng appointment at makapagbayad na din online, meron dun na, na doon sa mga transactions nyo, meron dun application form. And you can save that document and ipaprint yun na siya. Doon sa application form, meron doon part na kailangan ng right thumb mark and yung two documentary stamps. So, yung documentary stamps na bibili siya sa BIR, pero sa mga PRC na offices din naman, meron din namang nabibili doon. Kaya lang medyo pricey doon sa kanila compared if bibili mo siya sa BIR or munisipyo nyo. Again ha, two documentary stamps yung kailangan. Isa pang kailangan nyo is passport size picture. And be careful with this one kasi kailangan yung picture nyo, white background, and sa pagpapapicture nakikita yung inyong mga ears, tapos naka um, formal attire of course, and then um, kailangan meron ding pangalan. And sa pangalan, maging maingat kayo dito kasi ito yung pagkakamali ko talaga. Kailangan first name ay, yung unang pangalan, surname, followed by your first name, tapos middle name. Okay, yung middle name, hindi lang middle initial. Kailangan kompleto kahit yung middle name nyo. Kasi, very strict sila doon. Specifically doon sa Robinson's DASMA. Kung doon kayo magpa-file, PRC doon, sobrang higpit nila doon. Hindi talaga nila tatanggapin yung picture. Kailangan mo pa talagang magpa-picture ulit. And, kung ano yung picture na ipapasa mo sa kanila, kailangan, yun din yung picture na nasa Larry's account mo. Kailangan parehas sila. At least one passport size picture, okay na yun siya. Kapag first timer ka, pagdating mo dun sa PRC, pupunta ka lang dun sa isa sa mga windows nila, hihingi ka pa ng parang may card silang binibigay, and then dun mo kasi ididikit yung passport size na picture mo. Doon sa application form, um, meron na yung picture agad. Kasama na yun dun kasi nga, naglagay ka na ng picture doon sa Larry's account mo. So, as you print it out, yung application form, may picture na rin doon. So, hindi na kailangan magdikit ng picture doon. Pero again, kailangan mo ng printed passport size na picture for doon sa index card na ibibigay ni Spanish 
parang index card na ibibigay nila sa'yo that you have to fill out. Um, and may right thumb mark and meron na ulit doong picture. Para siguro sa records nila yon. Sabi ng iba, kailangan daw ng sedula. Pero ako personally, hindi ako hiningian ng sedula sa PRC Robinson's Dasma. Um, feeling ko, hiningian ka lang ng sedula kapag walang valid ID. Wala kang valid ID. Kasi ako, may valid ID ako and passport yung ginamit ko. So, doon sa Larry's account kasi hiningian ka ng valid ID. So, I think kung meron ka namang ipapresent na valid ID doon sa Larry's account, no need na ng sedula. Pero, better to ask your local PRC or kung saan ka man magpa-file, i-ask nyo pa rin sila in advance para um, prepared ka na and wala kang magiging problema pagdating mo doon sa mismong appointment date mo. Kasi, ang alam ko, kapag kulang pa yung requirements mo during the appointment date, ma, ano, mawawala yung 900 na binayad mo and kailangan mo mag-rebook ng appointment. Also, hindi rin sa akin hiningi yung e-receipt, yung receipt nung pagbabayad nyo online. Yung iba kasi sabi, kailangan daw yun i-print. Pero ako, print ko na din siya. Pero hindi naman siya pinapasa ng PRC DASMA. Pero siguro, maganda rin i-print yun na rin para to, just to make sure na proof na kayo ay bayad na. Meron din nagsasabi that you need notarized list of graduates. So, it depends. It depends. If yung school na pinag-graduatean mo ay maayos yung sistema nila at pinapasok nila sa PRC portal yung mga list of graduates nila regularly, wala kang magiging problema kasi may access na doon yung mga PRC branches nationwide. Kung ayos yung paglalagay nila ng info ng list of graduates doon sa PRC portal, pero, if yung school na pinag-graduatean mo, ay hindi yun ginagawa yung process na yun. Parang ako, ang nangyari, nag-request sa akin si PRC Robinson's DASMA na mag-email daw dapat yung registrar namin sa school doon sa kanila directly ng mga list of graduates na naka-notarize the end then. So, kailangan nila yun. And sabi sa akin, binigyan pa rin naman ako ng notice of admission, makakapag-take pa rin naman ako ng exam. Pero, let's say, um, hindi yun sinend ng school ko, yung list of graduates na yun, magiging pending, magiging pending yung license ko. Kaya ikaw, bilang student or bilang mag exam kailangan kulitin mo ng kulitin yung school mo na mag-email na nung list of graduates, yung notarized list of graduates. Pero, um, hindi naman na siya hassle sa akin kasi tatawagan ko lang, pwede kong para ma-verify ko kung nag-email na ba yung school ko, tatawagan ko lang din yung PRC office just to make sure na nakapag-email na talaga sana or nakapagpasa na yung school ko ng list of graduates. Pero for example, okay naman yung school nyo, nagagawa naman yun, nakapagpasa naman sila ng list of graduates, the updated one, wala ka nang kailangang ipasa na list of graduates. Few reminders bago ko tapusin tong video na to. Um, doon sa parang index card na ibibigay kapag first time taker ka, kailangan na doon sa course part kasi meron doon na ilalagay mo yung course mo. And sobrang liit lang ng space niya. Pero kailangan buo yung course na ilalagay mo. Kung BSE ka, hindi lang BSED yung ilalagay mo tapos dash major mo. Hindi ganun. Kailangan Bachelor of Secondary Education. Major in. So, kailangan pagkasahin mo yan siya doon. <laughs> Galingan mo para hindi ma-imbyer na sa'yo yung, yung nag-a-assist sa'yo. Okay. And, kailangan importante din yung mga details mo doon. Yung signature mo, overprinted name. Importante rin yan doon. But, if meron ka naman ng TOR, maayos na TOR, meron ka na application form, PSA birth certificate, documentary stamps, at least two. Tapos, yung picture mo, passport size, white background, naka-formal, kita yung tenga, and then may pangalan, surname, first name, and then middle name. Kung kompleto mo na yung mga yon, wala ka nang poproblemahin pa, at I know for sure, I, I will be praying for you, na ikaw ay maging future LPT din. After mong mapasa lahat ng yon, bibigyan ka na nila ng notice of 
admission at mag-aantay ka na lang makapag-exam. So, sabi nila, i-announce daw nila yung room assignment one week ahead or one to two days nga lang bago yung exam mismo. Before I end this video, let me just remind you with this first. When the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. One more thing, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Um, tatandaan mo sa journey na ito na pagkuha ng license, it is the Lord who will work in you. Kaya hindi ka kailangan mangamba. Alam po, madaming uh, madami tayong weaknesses, madami tayong limitations, may mga kanya-kanya tayong work, and yung pagiging teacher ay so demanding, and papalapit na lang papalapit yung exam. So kung titingin tayo sa circumstance na meron tayo ngayon, parang imposible talaga ang papasa tayo, no? Pero again, the Lord will make it happen. You can do it through Christ. Not through you, but through Christ. And He is always with you. Kaya, hindi ka na kailangang mangamba pa. Surely, if that's the will of the Lord for you, calling mong maging teacher, parang itong exam na to ay just a confirmation na ikaw ay calling mo talaga maging teacher. Kaya, hindi ka na kailangan mangamba pa. Okay, so thank you for being with Teacher Glee and till my next video, God loves you!